In this session, we will learn about the cell growth and cell division. Cell growth is a basic feature of an organism. It is an irreversible increase of size or dry mass. Cell division is the process by which new cells are formed by the division of cellular materials. When the cell reaches the maximum size, it starts to divide and multiply its number. Initially, the cell divides into two, again each of them divide into two and four cells are formed. Then, again by the cell division, eight cells form and this process continues. The process of cell division in eukaryotes is composed of a nuclear division and a cytoplasmic division. The nuclear division takes place in two methods, mitosis and meiosis. The nucleus in the cell contains many long and thin DNA molecules organized into structures called chromosomes. Chromosomes are composed of a complex called chromatin. Chromosomes contain and transfer the genetic material and the inherited characters from generation to generation. Look at the structures of the chromosomes in these pictures. The number of chromosomes in an ordinary somatic cell of a species is constant. For example, there are 46 chromosomes or 23 pairs of chromosomes in a chromosomal set of human somatic cells. A pair of chromosomes which contain same heredity information is called as homologous pair of chromosomes. One of these homologous chromosomes is inherited from father and the other is from the mother. So, a child receives 23 chromosomes from father and 23 chromosomes from mother. When having one set of unpaired chromosomes is called as haploid. For example, the gamete cells are haploid. A set of chromosomes present in body cells or somatic cells of an organism consists of two homologous pairs of each individual chromosome. Such a cell is said to be diploid. Let's see how a cell divides. This cell has only four chromosomes or two pairs of chromosomes but human cells have 46 chromosomes each chromosome splits into two making a second set of chromosomes first the nucleus divides and then the cytoplasm divides to produce two identical daughter cells equal to mother cell this kind of cell division is called mitosis. All the cells in animals and plants except the gametes are produced by mitosis. Let's discuss about the significance of mitosis. Mitosis produces two daughter cells from one parental cell. The daughter cells have the genetic information that is identical with one another and with their original parent. It occurs during the growth of an organism. For example, when the development of an adult organism from a fertilized egg. Mitosis is the basis of asexual reproduction. Mitosis produces the cells needed to heal cuts, wounds and broken bones. It produces the cells to replace dead skins and worn out red blood cells. We will move on to the other kind of cell division, meiosis.
This cell has four chromosomes. Each chromosome splits into two, making a second set of chromosomes. Meiosis takes place in two stages. First stage is a meiotic division. The homologous chromosomes are separated in this division. The second division is the ordinary mitosis. It results in the production of four cells from the two daughter cells formed during the first division. These cells containing haploid nuclei function as gametes and spores in sexual reproduction of animals and plants respectively. Eggs and sperm possess only one set of chromosomes. When these gametes fuse to form the zygote, the chromosomes become diploid again. So, the number of chromosomes of a species is maintained constant. Let's look at the significance of meiosis. It maintains a constant number of chromosomes from generation to generation. Structural changes occur in chromosomes during so, meiosis. New variations or new characters appear in organisms and this is very much helpful in the process of evolution. Now you are able to say how mitosis and meiosis similar and how they differ. Mitosis is a single division produces two diploid daughter cells which are identical to each other and to the parent. But meiosis consists of two consecutive divisions which produces four haploid daughter cells that are different from the parent cells and from each other. Meiosis takes place only in diploid cells, but mitosis takes place in both diploid and haploid cells. Variations occur due to the changes take place in the chromosomes in meiosis. No such variations occur in mitosis. In meiosis, daughter cell receives half of the chromosomal number of mother cell. In mitosis, two daughter cells receive the same chromosomal number as the mother cell.